Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the all-new McLaren series from Thomas Nelson in both King James Version and New King James Version. Okay, so it's time to do a full review of the McLaren series by Thomas Nelson. I've already done an unboxing video and uh, first impressions with these two Bibles, the NKJV in this really lovely brown leather soft two-tone on the cover, and then the black King James Version Edition in a premium goatskin cover. Both are really, really nice Bibles. I wanted to address a couple of questions that people have asked um, after I did that first video. One, yes, it's pretty much the same thing as, as Thomas Nelson's Preaching Bible. This is actually replacing the Preaching Bible series in their lineup. They're rebranding that as the McLaren series. I think this Bible adds in maps, but other than that, they're very similar. The text blocks are almost identical to. McLaren is the name of Alexander McLaren. That's They're kind of giving a nod to Alexander McLaren with the name of this series. He was a 19th century a Baptist preacher in the UK. He was born in Glasgow, Scotland, and then he spent most of his career in Manchester, England, and he was just known as a really great expository preacher. He was a contemporary and a close friend of Charles Spurgeon. He just never really became as famous or as popular as Spurgeon because he didn't travel around. He just stayed in Manchester and focused on preaching for his congregation. But um, you can find his notes and his study materials and his sermons online. He was just a really uh, talented preacher, a faithful person who, who, who sought to, to preach the Word and to preach the Word well. Now, this Bible does not include McLaren's study notes or any materials from him. They're just kind of naming it with, a, with recognition of him. It's kind of like the way Schuyler uses the, the word Quintel or Caxton. Those are names of people. Traveris. Those are names of people that they're kind of giving a nod to, but those people's uh, personal work does not show up in the Bibles. So there are going to be further McLaren series Bibles down the line. So there's going to be other editions that aren't just like this one that will have that McLaren series banner. So it's something they're moving forward with to kind of rebrand the preaching Bible, but then add in other editions of the Bible as well. I'm really impressed with these. I think they're great. And, and I actually like the fact that it doesn't say preaching Bible on it anymore because if you're not a preacher, you can still use this Bible. You can use the preaching Bible, but I think it opens it up for more people. And that's really what the goal here is with these videos and these reviews is to help you find a Bible that's right for you. So as I go through these, uh, think about that. Think if this is, could be a Bible that will help you want to engage with Scripture more and be a re have a regular rhythm of studying and reading the Bible for you. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm hoping to do with these videos. So here we go. This is the McLaren series from Thomas Nelson. We're going to be taking a look at the NKJV version as well as the King James version. Okay, here's a quick look at the boxes. King James Version on the left, New King James Version on the right. So you see it says McLaren series at the top, large print reference, black goat skin on the King James Version, brown leather soft on the New King James Version. There's the back of the boxes. So you can see they list the features and the ISBNs and all that stuff on the back of the boxes. And then here is the two different Bibles. Brown Leather Soft, which I noted in the unboxing video, is a really nice, has a nice, it's a synthetic like faux leather, but it has a really nice texture to it. They've done this, this stitching on the cover all the way around the outside. They have the two-toned there on the cover, and then it goes dark brown all the way around the back. Raised spine hubs, that design on the, on the spine, those nice embellishments there. Then on this one, it's a very, very soft, pebbly, floppy goat skin. Really nice texture. I was surprised by this. I don't think I've seen as tight of a pebbly grain from Thomas Nelson before. Again, with the perimeter stitching, raised spine hubs, a little bit more clean, simple spine on this one. You get the embellishments here of like the, the guild line inside. It's an edged line, edge lined construction, whereas this one's paced down. This one has three ribbons, whereas this guy only has two ribbons. Um, I think this one has a little bit, a uh, little bit more red on the pages as far as the art gilding goes. They're, they're very similar. They're obviously two different translations. In each one, there's five options. So the brown leather soft is available in both translations. There's also a black leather soft. The black goat skin is available in both translations. So that's three different ones. Then they have a middle tier that's a, a genuine leather edition that's brown. They have it in regular and as well as index. So it has the, the page indexing on there. So there's five different options. So you can get this in either King James Version or New King James Version. Um, I'm going to show you both of these. I'm going to try to do a simultaneous review just so you can see. Um, opening this up, this one you get presentation page, Holy Bible, 
this kind of teal color is kind of the accent color in here. And then here is the title page or the copyright page. You see that they have a uh, comfort print font. It's a different font. So the comfort print font designed by 2K Denmark, and this one is the one just specifically for the, the NKJV uh, Bible. And then the one you get for the King James Version is just slightly different. They are similar. I did a video with my friend Tim Frisch about the comfort print fonts and we talked about how the King James and the, and the KJV have some similarities to them, which I think makes a lot of sense considering that one is um, derived from the other. So there's the copyright pages. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this one aside for a second and focus on the King James. So, and then I'll bring the other one back in so you can see the premium. You get the preface, the abbreviations, all of that stuff at the beginning of the Bible. And then we get into the main text, some of these adornments. Now, I really like this. Um, it doesn't lay fully flat open, but I think it will work in over time. I really like the feel. It's got a Smythe Zone binding. I think this one feels really good. The Leather Sock version, it looks really great. But you can see just the kind of general design here of the text is that it is a verse-by-verse verse format. So every verse, there's a paragraph break on every verse. It begins its own new line. Verse-by-verse verse format. It's got a 10 and a half point font and it's line matched. Let me bring that up there for you to see it. 10 and a half point font with the comfort print is very clean and easy to read. It looks really great. So it's line matched, which means the lines on this side of the page are matched up with those on the other side of the page to, to uh, reduce the amount of show through that's happening there. Um, this teal accent color happens all the way throughout. So they've got it for the chapter numbers, the section headings, the verse numbers are teal. And then down here is the cross references and the textual notes. All that happens at the bottom of the page. Again, they use that teal color to offset everything. So you have, if it's a textual footnote down here, or if it's cross references, it's all at the bottom of the page. So the, the text runs the full width of the page, but you can see there's not a lot of fall off into the gutter. The Bible lays very flat so that you can, you can open it up wide. In the poetic sections, it's a verse by verse format like the rest of the Bible, but it has a more of a poetic uh, type setting. So there's line breaks and indentions and that sort of thing. Y'all, it's just a really beautiful, easy to read Bible. So it's a full on reference Bible with cross references and footnotes, verse by verse, 10 and a half point font. I'm gonna set this one to the side real quick and bring this guy in. You can see here, actually the, 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 um, the Leather Soft Edition seems to lay a little flatter out of the box than the Goatskin Edition, but this one still lays very flat. But you see, same thing. It's it's the, the exact same format. It's just a slightly different typeface on the KJV than it is on the NKJV. Big and wide. I think I failed to mention the size of these Bibles. So the text block on both is six and a quarter inches wide, nine and a quarter inches tall, and they're both about... 1.75 inches thick when you include the cover. So just pulling these in here side by side, you can see very, very similar. It's obviously a different translation and a slightly different type, uh, slightly different typeface. But other than that, everything is fairly the same in this large print reference version of the McLaren series. Now, when we move to the New Testament, just stays very consistent. These are not red letter Bibles. They just keep the same accent color all the way throughout, verse by verse formatting. It's just a very consistent, the paper feels great. It's a 36 GSM paper, top of the line that really, um, oh, that one, of course, I get the one that didn't turn very well. Very opaque. It's a crisp white paper, a dark font. So it just makes reading a, a really good experience. At the end of the Bible, you go straight from Revelation, the note regarding the type, straight into your Bible maps. So again, this was a preaching Bible format that they've kind of rebranded. That's probably why it doesn't have a concordance or anything else at the back, because most of the time preaching Bibles don't include things like that. This one, same thing. You actually get a few pages of lined notebook paper at the end of the New King James Version. And then your note about the typeface straight into the maps. All in all, y'all, I mean, really easy to read, 
Um, I, I'm a big fan of the NKJV and the King James Version typefaces, the Comfort Print typefaces. I think they're very easy to read. Um, the the ten and a half point font leaps from the page. The verse by verse format, whether you are preaching, whether you are listening to someone preach, whether you're studying, it helps you find your place. So if you if you've never had a verse by verse Bible, there's a lot of translations where that's the main way they always do it. Some have more of a paragraph format in certain places than they do verse by verse in the poetry. But this you can see just you always know where if some if you're going hey verse fourteen boom you find it really easy to find. Um, that's what the McLaren series is doing here is great quality, lots of beautiful aesthetic touches, easy to read, easy to use. Um, I love the teal color. I'm a really big fan of that. And all in all, these are both really great options in NKJV or KJV in leather soft goat skin. There's also a genuine leather edition. You have a lot of choices when it comes to these McLaren series Bibles from Thomas Nelson. So there you have it. That's a closer look at the McLaren series from Thomas Nelson. These are great Bibles. I'm actually very impressed with the Leather Soft Edition. You know, even though it's less expensive, I think it's really beautiful and well done and it feels great in hand. So if you're looking for a more affordable option of these Bibles, definitely consider those. I'll put links. They've got a bunch of different bindings, as I mentioned. So I'll put links to where you can purchase one of these in the description of this video. I've also got a full write-up at BibleReviewBlog.com. So definitely head to the website and check that out. See some more great photos and that sort of thing. I would love to know what you think, so leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the McLaren series. And definitely check out Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook and become a part of our community there on social media. Once again, as always, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got a bunch of great Bible content here on my channel, and I have a lot more coming out very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.